Welcome back to the channel. This week, in preparation for the AKT exam, we're going to focus on one of the high yield topics within evidence-based medicine, and that's all to do with risk. By definition, risk is effectively the probability of an event occurring out of all possible outcomes. This is important as odds are the probability of an event occurring versus an event not occurring. We use risk in prospective cohort studies, or more specifically in randomised control trials. You get a separate risk for the intervention arm of the study, and a separate risk for the control arm of the study. To work out relative risk, you divide the numerical value of risk of the intervention by that of the control. This is best described with an example. Imagine there's a new study that's comparing a new trial drug versus standard treatment for lung cancer and its mortality. Imagine there was a total of 60 people in the study, with 20 patients in the intervention arm and 40 patients in the control arm. Remember, the key thing is to know how to draw two by two tables where there's variables on the top and outcomes on the side. We can start by filling in the totals with the information we have so it looks something like this. Let's say that 10 patients died within the standard treatment and only 4 died with the new trial drug. We can add this to our table. Now, we just fill in the blanks using simple math so our table looks a bit like this. Now to the meaty bit. To work out risk, remember we said that it's a probability of an event occurring out of the total. So the risk will be the new trial drug would be 4 out of 20, which equals 1 out of 5, or 0 0.2. To work out the risk of the standard treatment, it'll be 10 out of 40, or 1 over 4, which is 0 0.25. Remember, in this case, we're looking at the risk of death occurring as we're examining mortality. So to work out the relative risk is the risk of intervention divided by the risk of control. In this case, that will be 0 0.2 over 0 0.25, which equals 0 0.8. Don't worry, you'll have an online calculator in the exam. You can now work out the relative risk reduction, which is basically 1 minus the relative risk. So in this case, that's 1 minus 0 0.8, and that gives you 0 0.2. This means that the risk of death is 20% less with a new drug compared to standard treatment. Well, what about absolute risk reduction? This is another common exam question. This is easy. It's the difference between the two separate risks. So in this case, it's 0 0.25 minus 0 0.2, which is 0 0.05. With the absolute risk reduction, you can also work out something called the number needed to treat, or NNT. This is basically, mathematically, the inverse of the absolute risk reduction. So using our calculator, this is 1 divided by 0 0.05, which gives you an answer of 20. This means you would need to treat 20 people with the new trial drug to prevent one death from happening. So there you have it. We've covered risk, relative risk, absolute risk reduction, and number needed to treat in three minutes. We really hope you've enjoyed this video and hope it helps you revise for your exams. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you love the video, and please send it amongst your VTS or revision groups. It really means a lot to us. Please leave a comment below if there's anything you'd like us to cover specifically, but otherwise, we'll see you in the next videos.